Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shouldn't have all ate this Hollywood show I'm here. About to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. And this video we do the Red Sun Green Lantern Challenge Battle 5 on standard difficulty. One challenge currency, three energy per fight, and Catwoman must be on your team. Starting the match off is level 12, Gold, Silver, Silver, Red Sun, Superman, Deathstroke, and Cheek Ahmed Habibi. Cards start off at level 12. Good match is 10,000 credits. Now, like most Battle 5s, the cards usually get up to 24. Red Sun Superman starting off is a interesting touch. The Catwoman's at one bar. We do have 55% power generation, so expect a lot of super moves in the next three fights. Superman is knocked out. Deathstroke comes in. So we're going to go up the nine lives, and Deathstroke is eliminated. Now, Batman Returns Catwoman does have the edge of getting double damage on bleed effect. So we're going to go off a Cat Claws on Sheik Ahmed Habibi. Hits for about 2,000 and pretty much bleeds the rest away for the victory in the first fight. 289 XP. 270 credits. In the second matchup, we have Zod, Solomon Grundy, and Wonder Woman. Cards remain at level 12. Still matches 10,000 credits. Begin. Batman Returns Catwoman also has 55% or 50% damage as well as power generation, so those moves are amplified quite a bit. Kryptonian Rifle connects for 1296. Zod is knocked out. Solomon Grundy comes in. So we're going to go off a Scary Cat. That does send him to us from the grave. Wipes out Solomon Grundy. The final shot does not hit on Catwoman. And we're going to go off a Cat Claws and eat up the rest of her health. And we do bash her out for the victory in the second fight. 292 XP. 290 credits. In the third matchup, we have Hawk Girl, Sheik Ahmed Habibi again, and Nightfall Bane, gaining two levels of 14. Skip the matches, 10,000 credits. Begin. We have Hawk Girl and Batman Returns Catwoman. Black Adam comes in early, so we're going to go off a Cat Claws. And that takes out most of Black Adam's life. Electric Burst is blocked for about 500. And we do take out Black Adam. Nightfall Bane comes in. So we're going to go off a second Cat Claws. Wears him down quite a bit. Venom Overdose kicks in. So we're going to go off a Hammer Slam on Nightfall Bane. Does wipe him out. And the shots do connect on Hot Girl. So we're going to go off a Shield Toss, and Hawk Girl is eliminated for the victory in the third fight. 294 XP. 310 credits. So we're going to make our first roster change. We're going to put in Regime Catwoman. We're going to put Dark Side all drugged up, and we're going to put in Cyborg. But for shits and giggles, we're going to put some gear on him. We're going to put on the Bloody Sword. Mark a Lady Shiva. And the Alloy Sword. So in the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Chaos. Going up against Regime Aquaman, Catwoman, and the Joker. Cards remain at level 14. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Well, unless we get a crit on Regime Aquaman, Darkseid cannot one-shot him. As you saw there. Catwoman comes in next. And gets obliterated. And an Omega Blast on the Joker will easily get rid of him for the victory in the fourth fight. Two hundred and ninety-six XP. 330 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Regime Wonder Woman, Insurgency Lex Luthor, and Regime Sinestro. Cards gain two levels of 16. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. 
And Wonder Woman is knocked out, even though it took two shots. Lex Luthor barely survives two shots. Sinestro only survives one shot for the victory in the fifth fight. 299 XP. 350 credits. In the fifth match... Or in the sixth matchup, we have Regime Flash, Regime Black Adam, and Regime Green Lantern. Cards remain at level 16, but the gold slot shifts to the middle. Let's get the match. It's 15,000 credits. Begin. One shot on the Flash. Sheik Ahmed Habibi comes in. One shot on him. So the entire team is one-shotted for the victory in the sixth fight. 301 XP, 370 credits. So we're going to have to make a roster change as we expended Dark Side quickly. We're going to put in Catwoman, Silver Cyborg again, and we're going to put in Silver Destro. In the seventh matchup, we have Black Adam, Regime Wonder Woman, and Solomon Grundy. Cards gain two levels to 18. Skip the match, it's 15,000 credits. So Sheik Ahmed Habibi is already down to half life. Electric Burst does connect. Hits for about 1100. Death Strokes at 2 bar. Sheik Ahmed Habibi is knocked out. And we're going to go off a sword flip on Wonder Woman. That does knock her out. Solomon Grundy comes in next. Only one shot on the blade attack. Cleaver Spin blocked for 401. And we're going to go off a point blank. Does hit for 200%, and it wipes out Solomon Grundy for the victory in the seventh fight. 303 XP, 390 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Wonder Woman, Teen Titan Cyborg, and Insurgency Lex Luthor. Cards remain at level 18. Skip the matches, 15,000 credits. We have three minutes to complete this fight, which is plenty of time for anybody to go take a shit. And come back with still a good minute left, unless you're old and can't shit very well anymore. 25% health will probably save Wonder Woman, at least until she tags out. Shield Toss connects. She did have one block. Lex Luthor comes in. So we're going to go up a Sword Flip and easily get rid of him. It was probably overkill. The Teen Titan Cyborg cannot tag out. Like, Cyborg's at two bars. Sonic Disruptor blocked the 363. We're going to have a Power Fist. And Teen Titan Cyborg is eliminated for the victory in the eighth fight. 305 XP. 12,410 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Green Arrow, Red Sun, Solomon Grundy, and Regime Cyborg. Cards gain two levels of 20. Skip the matches now, 20,000 credits. And we can see in the 11th fight, there are two gold cards, which means the last couple of fights will have three. Sometimes varies from challenge to challenge. The 15% health is in play. Cyborg gains power 50% faster. Free Zero connects, but a weird animation there. So we're gonna go up the point blank on Cyborg. Blocked for about 2,200. So we're going to go off a second point blank and shoot him back to the ghetto. Green Arrow comes in. And Green Arrow is cut out. So Red Sun Solomon Grundy's the last one. Cleaver spin for 1642. And Solomon Grundy's almost at two bar. So we're going to go with an eye for an eye, and Red Sun Solomon Grundy is eliminated. That's enough to get rid of him for the victory in the ninth fight. 308 XP, 430 credits. 
So we're going to make a roster change. We're only going to leave Catwoman in. We're going to put in Batgirl, Arkham Origin, Batman. And we're going to recharge Catwoman. Just so we can get through these fights quickly. In the 10th matchup, we have Deathstroke, Regime Raven, and Regime Nightwing. Cards remain at level 20. Skip the matches, 20,000 credits. And you can take a guess what's in the next three fights. The Explosive Batarangs. First shot on Deathstroke. It is 200%, wipes him out. Nightwing comes in to take an Explosive Batarang. Also hits for 200%, and Raven comes in. As we're about to win our 85th war. Triple 200% for the victory in the 10th fight. 310 XP, 450 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Boss Solomon Grundy, Zod, and Silver Solomon Grundy. Cards gain a level of 21. There's now two gold cards. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. So I'm not sure if Arkham Origins Batman is going to be able to get three unblockables. First shot does wipe out Solomon Grundy. Explosive Batarang on Zod. And we almost get to 200%, but we still knock him out. Explosive Batarang on Solomon Grundy is blocked and doesn't hit for 200%, but we quickly bash him out for the victory in the 11th fight. 312 XP, 470 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Insurgency Joker, Bane, and Catwoman. Cards gain a level of 22. Skip the match, it's 20,000 credits. And you can see in the 14th fight, all gold cards. Explosive Battering on the Joker. Hits for 200%. A lot of damage to Batman. Bane comes in to take an Explosive Battering. Also hits for 200%. Does not knock him out, however, because it is blocked. So Catwoman comes in and takes an Explosive Battering. Wipes her out for 200% for the victory in the 12th fight. 315 XP, 490 credits. So we're going to make our final roster change. We're going to put Bronze Catwoman back in. We're also going to use Arkham Origins Deathstroke. We're going to headline him first. And for insurance, we're going to use Gold Doomsday, even though he's only going to come in in the final fight if both people are knocked out. So we're going to recharge Catwoman. In the 13th matchup, we have Regime Aquaman, Regime Superman, and Regime Flash. Cards gain a level of 23. Skip the match is 20,000 credits. Arkham Origins Deathstroke does not have the highest damage, but he has one of the best level 1 moves in the game. Especially if you hit 200%. It is unblockable. And there you see I missed, and it really didn't do a whole lot of damage there. We're going to get Doomsday in and quickly wipe these opponents out so we can get to the final fight. The Flash comes in next. He can't take a lot of hits. Three shots knocks him out, so we're going to have an ultimate lift off if we hit that too soon. But well, we're going to go up a second one, and Superman is eliminated for the victory in the 13th fight. 317 XP, 510 credits. In the 14th matchup, we have Batgirl, Batman, and Arkham Origins Deathstroke. Cards gain a level of 24. Skip the matches, 20,000 credits. One bar of power, 25% damage, and all cards are gold. So Doomsday is going to come in again. Art of Deception blocked for about 1600. Batman comes in. It's supposed to be bettering for about 550. Batman trying to wear down Doomsday. That's not going to happen. But Batman is knocked out. Arkham Origins Deathstroke with a point blank. And we're going to go off a mass destruction, and Arkham Origins Deathstroke is eliminated. Ton of damage there. And we wipe out Batgirl for the victory in the 14th fight. 319 XP, 530 credits. 
So in the 15th matchup, we have the mini boss Red Sun Green Lantern, who is level 24. As we have seen a couple cards at level 27. 6,426 damage, but 28,000 health, which is quite a bit bloated compared to normal. Skin of the match is 30,000 credits. So I'm pretty sure that Deathstroke and Catwoman cannot wipe out Red Sun Green Lantern by herself. Passive ability, damage mitigation from special attacks, and immune to both crit and stun, which makes him very useful against Arkham Origin Deathstroke. And also good against Red Sun Batman. Turbine Smash blocked for 1510. As you can see, Red Sun Green Lantern is not really taking much damage. Well, we're going to go off the eye for an eye and see if super moves are also included in the damage reduction or only special moves. Seven thousand four hundred thirty-five, so it does not appear to mitigate that at all. And I really like the way the light attack looks. It looks like he's spinning green. Guardian appears to be the level two move, a three-hit combo, hits for about five thousand. So it doesn't seem to do overwhelming damage. So we're going to go off the nine lives on Red Sun Green Lantern. And this will put him at about one-third life, as Catwoman is Elite 7. 5,222, so he's down to about one-third life. Turbine Smash blocked for 1607, does not knock Catwoman out. So we're going to go off a Cat Claws. And that does put him back to two bars. So we're going to go off another Cat Claws. Arkham Origins Death Rogue is getting a small breather. And Catwoman is knocked out. So we're going to go off the Identity Crisis on Red Sun Green Lantern. And it is enough to knock him out, proving me wrong, for the victory in the 15th fight, as Doomsday didn't have to do anything. 483 XP, 1,100 credits. So the Red Sun Green Lantern Challenge Battle 5 on standard difficulty is completed after about three freezes during the battle. And we do get a Red Sun Green Lantern who was clocked in at 850 damage and 1,150 health. You have completed the challenge. The challenge will now reset so you can play it again. Enemies will be tougher this time around. And like usual, we get 25 credits for the expert difficulty. We're going to go into our collection and look at our level 1. Red Sun Green Lantern. Red Sun Energy Armor. Red Sun characters on Green Lantern's team take 20% less special damage and are immune to stun and crit. And the reason this is very important is the fact that if you stack blocking gear, you can get some scary numbers. We're actually going to test this out. Turbine Smash is the standard level 1 move for Green Lantern. Guardian, which you saw in the video, Green Lantern knocks his around his opponent as if they were a toy. Clearly, he did not do that to Arkham Origins Deathstroke. And Beware My Power is the level 3 move, which looks really sweet. So we're going to play in bonus battle 6, and we're going to do quite a bit of testing here with Wonder Woman, as I'm really curious to see how that works. So we're going to get in Red Sun Green Lantern. We're going to get in Red Sun Wonder Woman, who should have her blocking gear ready to go. And we're going to put in Mortal Kombat Scorpion, who's a very offensive card. Scorpion. And we're going to do a test with Red Sun Green Lantern in the mirror match. Very important to note the 20% reduced damage, and it shows the shield glowing green. So it's really sweet, so that passive will work on Wonder Woman as well. So we're going to get her up to one bar, and we're going to block the shield. Block for 1283. We're going to get in Scorpion now to take the next shield. Block for 3946. So you can get an idea of the difference in damage. Shield toss for 4072. And Scorpion comes in next. We're going to get, let him get off his move.
Flip Kick is blocked for about 1,200, and we're going to go up the Justice Javelin, and Scorpion is eliminated. So that green aura definitely looks cool, and being immune to crit is very important against Arkham Origins Deathstroke. Shield Toss blocked for 1202. We have not seen Red Sun Green Lantern yet. Another Shield Toss for 1283. And we're going to go off a Shield Toss, and Wonder Woman is eliminated for 18,000. Guardian seemed to miss a shot for tagging in. And we're going to go off the Nether Realm, and Red Sun Green Lantern should be eliminated. So as you can see, the blocking gear definitely helps stop even more damage. 59,032 damage for the victor in the first fight of bonus battle 6. 22,586 XP as Red Sun Green Lantern should hit level 4 easily, maybe 5. Actually, it hits level 7. 1,950 credits. So if you like this video on... Red Sun Green Lantern Challenge Battle 5 on standard difficulty, also showing off the enhanced blocking, stunning crit immunity that the Red Sun team gains. Please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos, my playlist, my Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shona. And the expert difficulties up next. Have a wonderful day, kids www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!